Good morning, good morning everyone. Nana Kay here. The question today is, what is Nana Kay doing today? <clears throat> Truth is, most of the time I have no idea. I just jump up and I start doing things. But I have wanted to show you a few little things that I've made. Excuse the mess, because when I crap, I make a mess. I don't make any apologies for it. I am not real eloquent about anything I do. The way I dress, the way I look, I'm just not an eloquent person. Even though I'm very, even though I like lace and purely stuff, I'm not a very eloquent person. But anyway, all the side point about me. What you see on my desk is a combination of um, printed sheets that I can use to decorate some things, some fussy cuts, some background sheets. And um, <clears throat> the signatures we're working on, and I, I am a little hoarse, please excuse me, I'm still fighting this bronchitis, it's trying to attack me again, but I'm going to try to get through just showing you some things I have done. Um, <clears throat> I got up this morning and I worked on this first thing. It's a really simple pocket, pocket. It's a real simple pocket, but it is a junk pocket. It's made with junk, or what I consider junk, because I don't use what it was made from anymore. What I made this from was one of these. A lot of people had these back in the probably 80s, 80s. It had been early, when I first, early marriage years, so I got married in the late 70s, so early 80s, mid 80s. These recipe card kits <clears throat> were really popular. They just kept coming in the mail, samples of them, and for some reason, there was a spell that I had that I love recipes. I cooked a lot, and I did. I cooked a lot. I had, I had children of my own. I had two of my own children, and I helped take care of five of somebody else's, and then then another one came, and another one came. So all together, we've had like seven foster kids that we've helped take care of through our life. And anyway, cooking was a thing. You had to cook because you couldn't afford to go out and eat. <clears throat> but this is where I made it from. So the first one we're going to work on today is I'm going to show you how I took this and transformed it into this. It's real simple. It won't take long. Um, simple thing to do. But... If you've got these around the house, grab them if you're not using them and start thinking about because they're nice, the nice cardstock here. And that way I don't have to buy the cardstock. I'll think about using those and, um, you, you know, you'll save a little bit of money on the cardstock. So let's go with this. Now, what did I need? I needed this. I didn't need my bone folder. I sure bought my scoring tablet, but I didn't. So I'll try to do it the way I've seen other people do it. But the first thing I do with this is I take a piece of my scrap, any of my scrap that I'm going to decide what I'm going to use in the background. And because I'm going to put this in my uh, Future Dreams journal at some point in time, that's what I'm going to look for. I'm going to look for something that I can decorate this with. That looks like a good one. And y'all gonna have to let me pause a minute and go get my glue. I knew I would forget something. Excuse me, and I really apologize. Okay, let's try to get back where we were when I had to pause it. I paused this thing, and then I went and got my um, glue as I needed. And I come back, and I hit unpause, but it didn't keep recording. So I had already gone through. I had already finished that one, but we're going to go back and do it again on something else. Um, but anyway. Oh. That's the way a day goes sometimes in the life of a crafter. All right, let's go on. And I hope that I can link these two videos together without it being a big issue. But if not, we'll do something different later. All right, I'm going to take this one. And again, I got to, I got to trim up. I got to trim up this so that I can um, take the white off. It's a whole lot easier if I just take the white off first, off the edges. I, I could have printed these borderless and I wouldn't have had to gone through this. But but this is something I want I want to tell you about watching these videos and actually doing this work yourself. It's not as it is not at all sometimes what you see on the on the um YouTube screen is not even half of what has to be done to get to that point. There is a lot of prep work. 
that goes into making these videos. There's a lot of prep work that goes into making these designs. Um, most people who are, are doing these actually make the, the, the thing that they're, they're showing ahead of time. Uh, they make one, and excuse my hoarseness, <clears throat> but, but they make one and then they have to get on this video and make another one and it still doesn't show you all the prep work that's done in, in advance. And I'll give you an example. All this printing that I had to do in advance to make these, gathering all my supplies and getting near my camera, um, all the um, beautiful um, die cuts that we use had to be cut. Of course, I cut them at other times, but these all have to be done. Um, this is my tray of fussy cuts. Can you imagine how long it took to cut all these out? Yes, when I was sick. I've been sick for five months. This is what I've done for five months was cut out fussy cut stuff. But it, it looks very it looks very quick and easy on the videos. I watched the videos for months before I decided to um, really start doing my own. And I'm doing these mostly because I really want to introduce the kits that I do. I'm a graphic designer, and my my niche for designing is actually um, and truly my main niche is. Excuse me, I have to loosen that back up because I got a little yellow showing. Don't yellow showing. My, my my main niche is designing journal pages kits. So in order to make use of my journal page kits to let people see what I have available, this is why I decided to start teaching classes. I teach classes physically too. We have um, spent the last year and a half remodeling on two um, 12 by six, uh, 12 by 15 and 12 by 60 mobile homes, and I have now butted them together and made my craft shop. The back, the back mobile home has all my supplies. Yes, 12 by 50 wall to wall, floor to ceiling supplies, shelves of supplies. I will do a video sometime on my on my um, supply room. You'll, you'll be amazed at what I have gathered over the last 20 years. Yeah, I've been crafting 20 years. And um, then the front one has my um, classroom in the very center along with the stuff that I've made that's for sale. And then my back one, and then the back part here of that front one is where I do my video. So anyway, enough about that. Um, just just when I, when I have to stop and cut like that, it just reminds me of how much prep work does go into it. And, and I don't mind doing it on video because you guys need to know it's a lot of prep work. Um, it's fun if you make it fun, but sometimes you'll forget something, have to get up and run and go get something. That, that's just the nature of the beast that we're doing when we're crafting. So, all right, we've got that glue down, and um, I use I use this thing here to really press press it. I call it burping it. Um, I used to run a newspaper, and you know, burping was what we called it when we had to really press down the um add stuff to the to the with wax down to the pages for the printing press so if i say burping it don't think i'm crazy most of the people here say well wielding or welding it i think it's what it's called when you're doing this but what it really is is really making sure that one piece of paper is adhering to the other and a tight thing so if you get all the air out from behind the glue then then you've got a really tight fit all right, going on, I'm going I'm trimming around now, I'm trimming all this off the actual card stock of that uh, that old recipe card, all the way around. And again, these corners are not great on these recipe cards. So before you start adding all this stuff to it, you might want to um actually redo your corners. I'm just gonna let mine go because that's part of what junk journaling is all about. It's just using what you've got. Okay, this is now, um, got it covered like this. Okay, next we're going to go and get the scoreboard. So I can find where I put it over here, all this stuff. Scoreboard here. I think we wanted it scored at three and a half. It's where I finally figured out that that's where we needed it. Oh, and I use a, a old plastic chopstick. <laughs> For my scoring tool. I lost my little one that fit in these grooves, so I had to make do. And that's another thing you do when you're crafting. You make do. You learn to make do with the things that you have available to you. Because after a while, you just cannot keep going out and buying things. Um, so you learn to make do. And that's what I've done. I've used this old chopstick and 
I got glue all over it. I'm having to take it off because it's trying to tear my paper. All right, so I scored this at three and a half, and this is going to start forming my pocket. And I like to put my Sharpie here <laughs> to, to make it fold over. All right. Now, when I fold it over, as you see, we're going to come back up with the white stuff, and we don't want that to happen. Um, unfortunately, it's my, I, I, my design didn't show up as well as I wanted, but that's okay. We'll decorate the back of that some. All right, put the scoreboard away, and now we're going to do the bottom here. We're going to use some of this design to do the bottom. So since we didn't get as pretty design on the top as we want, what we'll do is we just want to glue the back side and that bottom part of that flap, as you see right here, just where the fold line is, it was thin edge. And then I'm going to put, and it's going to come up, so I want to put this on here like this. And I want a lot of that design on there, so I'm going to keep moving it. Make sure we got it down all the way. I, I got to stay in frame, I'm sorry. As I make these videos, I'll get better at it, I promise. I've just really just started back after being sick for five months, so <sighs> just bear with me, please. Okay, now we're going to cut this one out again, right around those edges where we just some did. And then once you get this cut out, just, just double check and make sure the glue did get all the way to the edge. If it didn't, you, you'll need to just squirt a little bit of glue on it. See, that's one of those corners I'm talking about. It almost looks like they just clipped it off at, a, at, a, at an angle. It's not a pretty rounded corner, but like I say, it's a junk. It's made with junk, so we're going to just leave it. Okay, I checked. See, I've got a loose place. It looks like right there where I didn't glue well. So I'm going to go back and stick my glue nozzle right there in that little hole and just give me some extra glue there. Okay, squeeze it, and take my press and press it. Okay, looks like we got a little bit uneven right there. You probably can't see it on the camera, but I see a little bit of white shining there. Which tells me I didn't cut it even. Got it now? Alright, now, we're going to fold that up, and there that is, okay? Now, you will at some point come in and add decorations, and I might just go ahead and do that and get this decorated since I didn't do this one. I might decorate all three of these and that through that video. I do have, I'll show you some other things I've made with it if we don't do more, and then we'll decide if we want to do a tutorial on the other one that we made. They're really fun. These are fun to do, especially since I know I grabbed old stuff. I love, I started out junk journaling, so this is kind of bringing back old memories of about three years ago when my daughter and I just grabbed a whole anything and, and throw journals together. Okay, there's our pocket right there. Okay. Now, let me, I'm going to show you something else that we're going to do with this pocket. You see these right here? Trivia, and I don't even remember trivia, but I'm going to, this is, again, it's a nice, nice cardstock here. It's a game that I found at a yard sale for 25 cents. I got a whole box of them. It's about that big, full, packed full of these little cards, and I'm going to take these cards now, and this is what I'm going to decorate. I'm going to take more of the beautiful pattern designs. I'll do this one. I'll do this one and show you real quick. Same thing. I'm going to glue the glue. These are a little shiny too. So there again, if you want, you might want to, I'm going to go ahead and try it. But if you want, you might want to go ahead and put some, sand it off a little bit. I, I'm not on this one. Okay, on this one, I'm just going to, you know, let's go a little more over. Stick it on. That way it'll make up for losing some of that pretty, um, design on the top up there that we lost. I do have a new video camera and um, it does not have as wide a range as my other one did, but it's so much more vivid. I'm just going to keep trying to learn to work with it and it might be that my husband can um, build my frame up a little higher. I, I don't have a frame that has a crank or whatever to move up and down. 
So whatever angle this is at, it's going to have to stay until we can build a, a taller frame, maybe, to get a more to get more um, screen in. But I will do that. I really can tell that I need to get a little more screen in if we're going to be crafting underneath this new camera. Okay, so we got one side done. If you want, you can actually go ahead and punch your corners. I'm not going to punch corners. Now, on the back side, I want something where if we want to journal on the back of it, we can still journal. So, I'm going to take one of my background sheets that I've copied, and I'm going to put it on the back. And by the time you put those two layers, and it's like I said, this is this real thin 28-pound. Um, it is the brochure quality paper that I use, but I went ahead and printed it on there because... I really want this. I want these to last. This one I'm going to try to put it right on that corner so that I'm not wasting my um, background page since I did paint the, print those on the brochure paper. I really don't want to waste my paper because that's rather expensive, that HP brochure paper. All right. A lot of people might ask that, but that is what I use. I use that, and I use a real shiny photo finish paper sometimes, but I find that the inks, like the, the inks just don't adhere to that really well, so I quit using the shiny brochure paper. This is a matte finish, and um, I use 110-pound cardstock on a lot of stuff, but this is, this is taking the place of my 110-pound cardstock. So that's a, a major savings, and this is taking the place of the 110. So that's a savings for me. So there's a card already, and we can just take that card and maybe add um, some a butterfly or something to it out of our clip art. I grabbed some clip art over there, and I'm gonna think I'll grab. I'm gonna grab a purple butterfly. I'm gonna put it on the card. Put it up here on the card. Somewhere, let's see, let's just put him right here and curl his wings just a tiny bit so he's not totally flat. Put him up there and let me see, do I have any, a few, a few cards that have sayings on it, so let's see what I got. That says rise and shine, I don't think I quite want rise and shine. And that says it's sunflower time, I think that's an Angela Kerr saying here. Yeah, bring in the sunshine. That's a good one. Okay, let's just use this, this label right here. I call this word art. So if I say word art and somebody else says label, you know we're kind of saying the same thing. So we'll just bring this in. Put it down this, kind of down this corner here. Right about there. Okay. And I'm going to... Put a little bit of, just a little bit of stain around the edge of this one. This is um this is the um distress oxide vintage photo. I use that a lot, but I use all the colors of the of the um distress oxides, especially when I'm doing journals. It, like this, like on this on the actual um signatures that we have for sale, I use the um the Dorian Velvet distress oxide. So, yeah, I use all the cards. Okay, that card is pretty much finished, and I'm going to stick that one inside here. Now, you can go back and put rhinestones, a little bit of pearls, or, you know, like little pearls down his belly to, to enhance it a little more. You can actually go in around these corners to make the card a little more elegant, but there is a card to go inside using the old um, trivia cards. So that's our tricks for that particular journal. Now, I am not going to make this video too much longer, especially since I don't know how long the first one was before it popped out on us. But this is what I've made today out of out of those um, recipe cards today. i got to make some cards for this one. I'm going to make another one to go in there. Okay, and these will go, like I say, these will actually go into our signature somewhere, and they will just actually just glue on a page like this. It'll glue on a page. Matter of fact, this is really pretty enough that if you wanted to put one of the larger tags, let me see if I printed any of those. 
Oh, I do have, yeah, I got them printed, but I don't have them, the cutout ones back here with me. But a tag can go in there also. As you see, you can put that there, and the tag would still fit and not come above your page. So you can actually make a tag to go in that one too. Probably put a tag in the, this one. So there's what we've done today and this morning. So let me show you some other ones I've done with that, and I will do a, 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 do a, training tutorial on it if I can find where I laid them. I'm bad about doing that too. The other ones that I worked on, I don't know what I've done with them yet. Well, that's the crying shame. Oh, there they are. They're just backwards. I can't see them. Up here on the front of my desk. Okay, I took another one of these. Well, now this time I took, on this particular one, I took two of these and um, glued them together really lightly and cover, covered both sides. Then I took a second one and done the back of the pocket, back of the pocket here. And then I cut out, to cut out, I just made, I have built me these little templates that just have frames cut out because I make my own frames. But then I just actually cut that out of the original card and then glued this one on the back. But we'll do a tutorial on that one. So that was another one I done, and and right here you'll see that the that the a uh, uh, card will slide in there, and we'll be able to um, pull it in and out with a little tab. That's one other one I've done. Of course, I did this one too. This one had a, just just a little fancy pocket I put on it, and I'll really decorate this one because I I kept it really simple. But that was just made with one, just one by itself, covered front and back on this one. This particular one, you actually, if you have, have it on your journal, what my intent for this one is, it's going to go as a wrap around this way. You can wrap around it, you can wrap it around this way, and then you'll have it here, and you can journal something here, or put another pocket just down here. And on the other side, when you come to the journal, this is something that you can actually put a pocket here, something underneath here, and and you can write on here, or what you, there's just lots of things you can do with this one. But this is a wraparound that we'll be doing. And then this one is another one, very similar to the first one, except it's just a single card with a frame built around it and a, and a backing. And then I made a card to go in it right here so it's got to pull out and this is another one it'll just gl actually glue on a page and you'll just pull it out it, it this was probably glue to the point where you actually can see it when your book is closed you can probably see the tab like that when you open it you'll be able to pull the card out and write on the back of it okay but that's a few little things that I've done today. It's um it's Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day, and unfortunately, Nana Kay has to go to her other job. I am nearly 70 years old, and I still have another full-time job that I have to go to, not counting the fact that I am actually trying to ra help raise a two-year-old grandson. And he has five brothers and sisters, so that's a busy household. So this is Nana K today signing off. Check out our Etsy site below. If you have any questions about anything you saw today or you have any suggestions, contact me at that email address you see right there. I appreciate those that are returning um, to watch my videos. I hope that you have subscribed and I appreciate new people today. Please go down and subscribe to help me get known on the on YouTube in the YouTube world. And um, check out all the stuff that we've done on Etsy. These were new yesterday. I only have one set available right this minute. So if you're interested in having pre-prepped signatures just to actually come in and just start doing the actual designing, hop on Etsy and take a look. Um, you have a blessed day. Take care. Stay safe. Always keep your kids in mind. Your kids are your number one asset. I'll say that probably in every video I have learned I have learned my kids are my, vet, my, my main asset in this world, so take care of your children. Be blessed, and I'll see you again on probably Thursday. Bye-bye.